camouflaged Tesla prototypes have been spotted testing in the Bay Area, and the details reveal Tesla's most aggressive cost-cutting strategy yet. No glass roof, 18-inch Model 3 wheels, Kumho tires, stripped gray headliner. With just nine days until the official unveiling, every modification points to one goal, hitting that $25,000 price point. But here's the real question. Can Tesla slash features this deep and still deliver a car people actually want to buy? The answer could reshape the entire EV market. Let's dive right in. These prototypes aren't just test vehicles. They're Tesla's blueprint for dominating the mass market. And when you look closer, every modification reveals a calculated strategy. The missing glass roof isn't about aesthetics, it's about physics. By eliminating that panoramic panel, Tesla cuts 15 to 20 kilograms while lowering the vehicle's center of gravity. This matters because the Model 2 will carry a smaller 40 to 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. In the EV world, every kilogram directly impacts range efficiency. Less weight means more miles per kilowatt hour, which separates a practical daily driver from a car that leaves you anxious about reaching your destination. The LED light bar removal reveals even smarter thinking. Continuous light strips consume 20 to 30 watts more than conventional assemblies. Over the vehicle's lifetime, across millions of charging cycles, this translates to real efficiency gains. Tesla's targeting 6 to 7 miles per kilowatt hour with the Model 2, significantly better than the 4 to 5 seen in today's larger crossovers. Hitting those numbers requires eliminating every unnecessary power drain. The smaller details matter too. Power folding mirrors and puddle lamps add wiring complexity and parasitic electrical draw. Removing them saves 1 to 2 kilograms and eliminates an electronic control unit, streamlining the vehicle's electrical system. For a platform designed for high-volume production, these changes enable more aggressive optimization of aerodynamics and weight distribution. What we're seeing tested is likely the E41Y platform, Tesla's proving ground before these innovations carry over to the Model 2. The production version will push further with a shorter wheelbase, lighter chassis materials, and a drag coefficient near 0.21 to 0.22. These aren't ambitious targets. They're necessities for making a smaller battery deliver competitive range without compromise. This is where Tesla's strategy becomes controversial. Firmware leaks confirm major changes. Cloth upholstery replaces vegan leather. Manual seat adjustments replace powered controls. The premium headliner becomes basic gray fabric. Ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, RGB ambient lighting, all eliminated. The rear passenger display that Tesla recently added to the Model Y, not included. Rear seats fold manually instead of electrically. The audio system drops from 13 speakers to 10. Even the center armrest shifts from a premium single-piece design to a two-piece budget version. Before dismissing this as cheapness, consider the economics. Industry teardown analysis shows interior features represent 15 to 20 percent of total vehicle manufacturing costs. By removing powered seat motors, ambient lighting modules, and secondary screens, components adding $1,200 to $1,800 per unit, Tesla redirects budget toward critical safety systems. And here's what Tesla isn't cutting. Advanced airbags, structural reinforcements, and their industry-leading safety electronics. Tesla cabins consistently rank in NHTSA's top five for crash safety. That standard won't change. Core safety features like mirror-mounted turn indicators remain, proving Tesla only removes features where regulations permit and buyers can reasonably accept trade-offs. The strategy becomes clear. Sacrifice luxury for accessibility while maintaining safety standards. 
Whether buyers accept this trade-off will determine if the Model 2 succeeds or becomes a lesson in cutting too deep. Leaked data reveals something significant. References to a special motor configuration that industry insiders believe indicates a newly developed drive unit. If accurate, this motor uses reduced rare earth materials, potentially cutting costs by 20 to 25 percent compared to current Model Y drive units. The performance projections tell the story. The entry-level single-motor Model 2 should produce 180 to 200 horsepower with 0 to 60 miles per hour times around 7.5 to 8.0 seconds. Adequate for daily driving without thrilling anyone. The dual-motor variant could reach 280 to 300 horsepower, keeping acceleration under 6 seconds while controlling production costs. The suspension choice reveals Tesla's priorities. Software notes describe a simplified system with standard 18-inch wheels, abandoning the adaptive suspension now standard on the refreshed Model Y. Tesla is choosing durability and cost efficiency over adjustability. Industry analysts estimate this saves $800 to $1,200 per unit in parts and assembly. Not just margin, but the difference between hitting that $25,000 target and missing it entirely. One curious detail. Leaked data suggests no tire pressure monitoring system. Since this is legally required in the US, Canada, and Europe, experts believe this is incomplete data or a placeholder. Still, it demonstrates Tesla's focus on eliminating every non-essential component where regulations allow. This isn't a scaled-down Model Y. It's a complete re-engineering of Tesla's technology platform designed for production volumes the company has never attempted. The strategy targets two distinct groups. First, budget-conscious individuals who want an EV but can't justify spending $40,000. Second, large-scale fleet operators who prioritize economics over luxury. Taxi services, rental companies, and delivery fleets don't need panoramic glass roofs or ambient lighting. They need low operating costs, proven durability, and minimal maintenance downtime. Tesla is launching new wall connector products specifically for fleet operators, showing how integrated this market push will be. By delivering a vehicle that undercuts gasoline cars in both purchase price and lifetime ownership costs, Tesla can capture buyers who might otherwise choose cheaper EVS from BYD or Volkswagen. This aligns with Tesla's mission of accelerating global electrification. But the business case is equally clear. Volume at scale requires a product that everyday drivers can actually afford. Here's the reality Tesla faces. They've never competed primarily on price. The Model 3 was supposed to be affordable, yet starts above $40,000. The Model 2 pushes Tesla into territory where competitors like BYD have years of experience building profitable, low-cost EVS. Can Tesla maintain quality standards while cutting costs this aggressively? The interior changes show willingness to test those limits. The powertrain innovations demonstrate fundamental re-engineering, but execution at massive scale is where most automakers stumble. Tesla hasn't finalized the Model 2's feature set. Details may shift before launch later this year. However, the direction is unmistakable, transforming Tesla ownership from aspirational luxury into mainstream accessibility. Whether this redefined affordability attracts millions of new buyers or proves some compromises aren't worth making. We're about to discover which version of Tesla's future becomes reality. So here's what this really means. Tesla just proved you can strip a car down to essentials without stripping away its purpose. That $25,000 price point isn't a marketing fantasy anymore. It's engineering reality backed by prototypes testing on public roads right now. This is exactly why traditional automakers are scrambling. Tesla's not just building a cheaper EV, 
They're rewriting the rules on what affordable means while maintaining safety standards that put them in NHTSA's top five. If they execute this correctly, the Model 2 doesn't just expand Tesla's market, it accelerates the entire industry's transition away from combustion engines. And this is just the beginning. With launch expected later this year, we're about to see if volume production at this price point is actually sustainable. Or, if Tesla hit limits, even they can't engineer around. So, here's my question. If Tesla delivers a $25,000 electric vehicle that doesn't feel like a compromise, how fast does the gas car become obsolete in your market? Drop your prediction in the comments. This is where the EV revolution gets real. Stay tuned. We'll be tracking every development.